Okay, this is to show how to adjust the cradle on your T1X2. If you've got the adjustable cradle on your model, uh, it could be a T1 or a T1X2, both come with adjustable cradle option. Okay, so what you need to do is this is in the all the way up position. Now, if yours is in the down position, it'd just be the opposite of what I'm gonna show. But in the, in the up position, you're gonna have to remove your spacer bars so that they will clear the um, cradle when you get it into the lowered position. So I've removed those, and now I'm going to remove the screw that's holding the front of the cradle in place. And there's one on each side. It's a 5.30 seconds Allen wrench screw. There's one on the other side as well. And as I remove these, the cradle will have a tendency to want to fall down. So just support it while you remove the second screw. And it should be... Okay, so now it just lowered itself down. Now I'm going to line up the uh, screw holes to the lowest position. You actually have three positions, so this is going to be in the lowest position and retighten up the screw. I'm going to do the same thing over on the other side. And then that's the front part is adjusted. Now I'm going to adjust the back and there's some two screws on each side in the back here. Up. Okay, so now I'm going to loosen these screws. Like so. And then the whole back lowers down. And I'll snug those screws back up. Actually tighten them all the way back up. And now the uh, cradle is in the all the way low position. Now you'll notice if, if I try to put these on again, they will not fit because the, the uh, guides on the side will hit. So you'll have to remove each one of the guides just by removing these screws on both sides. And you'll want to hang on to these guides for future use if you ever want to return your cradle to the upright position. And then we just put, put our locking pins back in place and do that on both sides. And uh, that's how you adjust the cradle. Okay, if you need the uh, uh, tire spacer put on, and that would be if your uh, wheel pants, if you have wheel pants that are low, uh, all you do is you take your tire spacer that has two pins on the back side of it and you set it on to the two holes and it clicks in so it's not uh, going to move anywhere. It's not held in by bolts or anything. So you see the two screws. It just sits there, line them up with the two holes and, uh, and it just sits in there and will stay in place once the tire's on there. Okay, now if your cradle's in the all the way down position and you want to raise it up, it's very simple. You've got uh, Allen screws on the side in the front. These are 5 32nd Allen screws that you take out on both sides. So I'm going to take this side out. Actually, it's all the way loose, but I'm just going to leave it sitting in there. Now I'm going to loosen up the other side as well. And once again, it is all the way out. Now I can raise up the cradle to the upper position or the middle position, whichever way I want to have it adjusted. So I'm going to, in this example, take it all the way up to the top position, tighten up the screw on this side, and then do the same thing on the other side. So tighten up both screws, very snug, very tight. Okay, 
and then I got to lower the cradle down and adjust these back or loosen these back screws so I can make the adjustment on the back. So you just loosen these, you don't take them all the way out. And then I'm gonna pull these up and I'm gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna pull one up so that it's hitting the bottom of the screw in both locations and tighten those screws up and then do this side and tighten these two screws up. Now it's in all the way up position. Now you'll notice that it's it's for a smaller diameter tire, and if you need to adjust it for a bigger diameter tire, you remove the uh, red pins on the top, and then you can slide it, and you've got several positions that you can put it into for a larger diameter tire, all the way up to that biggest size right there. Okay. Now, if you have a, uh, a, a large tire and you want to uh, constrain it a little bit better, you can actually use our cradle extender. Now, it has uh, screws, it comes as an option. It has screws already installed in the threaded holes. So you'll remove those screws and then line up the, the extender on the back and there's two holes already in the uh, in the link. This is the link that line up with the two holes on the extender, so you can put your screws in. And once you get those in place, you tighten up with an Allen wrench. Okay, stop. Okay, and then once you've got all the screws tightened up, then your extender will help keep your tire in the cradle. And that's the way it's gonna look right there.